Hi, my name is Rebecca A. Duddle, and I'm in the final year of my PhD program at the University of Texas, Arlington. My PhD advisor is Dr. David Jorgensen, and my research interests lie in the areas of commutative and homological algebra along with category theory. Specifically, I hold interest in what is sometimes dubbed as asymptotical homological algebra. To better understand the structural properties of an R module, we shift the focus of studying the module to studying its syzygy sequence. One common theme is to understand patterns at infinity, which sometimes occur in a module's Betty sequence. In my research, I actually relate infinite free resolutions to totally acyclic complexes and study these objects within a categorical framework. I work in a triangulated category and try to employ the category structure to answer questions related to what I'll dub complete Betty sequences. Lastly, I have some interest in support varieties, especially with regard to their connection to totally acyclic complexes. My research thus far has been driven by three dominant questions. The first problem that I have been interested in is being able to compute an R module of fewest possible generators that has a given support variety. The next problem involves finding a meaningful way of identifying the natural middle of a complete resolution. Lastly, the majority of my thesis work has focused on answering the question, how can we extend the notion of critical degree for a module to the category of totally acyclic complexes? While these three questions may seem unrelated at first glance, there is actually a clear-cut connection between them in which the former two questions motivated my work on the third. The setup for my research is a commutative local ring R and the category of totally acyclic a cyclic complex is called KTAC. There is a formal manner in which we can associate these complexes to our modules and in fact view them as doubly infinite free resolutions, all commonly called totally acyclic complexes, complete resolutions for this reason. Rather than studying patterns in the Betty sequence, I look at patterns in the complete Betty sequence. My thesis work extends the concept of critical degree for an R module, originally defined in the paper Complete Intersection Dimension by Avramov, Piva, and Gasharov. In regards to our extension, the critical degree signifies where patterns arise to the left in the complete Betty sequence, and the dual concept of co-critical degree signifies where patterns arise to the right. For example, when R is a complete intersection, we see strict growth in the complete Betty sequence after the critical degree and before the co-critical degree. These concepts are, in fact, well-defined in KTAC, meaning they respect homotopies. I have also studied some properties and we have partial answers to the following questions. First, what relationship exists between the critical and co-critical degrees of a complex and those of its dual? The second, can the co-critical degree of a complex be greater than the critical degree? Another goal in my study has been to understand how these degrees might change under certain operations of complexes. While it would be nice to have complete answers for the most basic operations for which KTAC is closed under, we can only currently say something in the case of shifts of complexes. However, I have also studied operations involving tensor products of complexes and have attained bounds with respect to the original complexes in both of these cases. The most intriguing operation has been the mapping cone, but can we actually say anything about the critical and co-critical degrees of a mapping cone? The truth is, not always, but our hope is that we will be able to say something in certain cases. This has actually led us to form an alternative definition for the critical and co-critical degrees in KTAC, and we believe this new definition will help. And we have verified that our two definitions are in fact equivalent. Returning to the second question centered around identifying the natural middle of a complete resolution, I would like to begin a discussion of my short-term future goals. The middle of a complex is generally thought to be at homological degree zero, but in many cases, this labeling of homological degrees can be quite arbitrary. Is there a better way to think of the middle? This question sparked the idea of using the growth in the tails of a complete Betty sequence, and thus one of the reasons why we thought to extend the notion of critical degree to KTAC. If we solidify a definition of this natural middle, 
Using the critical and co-critical degrees, one interesting question is whether the width of this middle could be bounded over all R modules of a given complexity. And finally, we return to the original motivating question for my thesis work. Can we compute a simplest module that has a given support variety? While there is a way of computing modules with a given support variety, sometimes this process can yield a largely generated module. The goal here would be to introduce an algorithmic process that yields a module with as few generators as possible. Well, that is all I have. Thank you for listening. And if you are interested in any of these topics, feel free to tune into my champ talk to hear more about them.